Well, I'm back, and it's time to head into Yuri, the man. But for now, I guess we have a scene involving the Empire. You can tell because their dominant theme song, you know, just washes over you like an all-encompassing wave. So the special effects on the back end of that ship could use maybe a little bit more work. But yes, it's time to see the rise of a certain prince. Huh. Guess I'll have to deal with him later. Through an unbroken line of 117 emperors, our great empire dates back to our hallowed progenitor, Dispatter Lucas. Now on this auspicious day, we gather here to announce joint the 118th Imperial Crown Prince. Yes, annoying. I'm sorry, not, not announced, jeez. May lead the Logavian Empire and its people to ever greater glory, for we have not yet conquered enough of the galaxy! Or I guess technically galaxies, right? You already saw him take one galaxy, albeit under his father, who is an absolute brick house. Like seriously, look at all those muscles. It's insane. <laughs> My son, through five years of trials and tribulations, here you stand before me once more. So with great pride, I say you have proven a worthy heir to the imperial throne. Solely through your own efforts. The Crown Prince, heir to the Logavian throne. He was chosen from among his 46 Imperial siblings. Yes, 46. Lucius is not the only one with a lot of freaking siblings. I present you Imperial Crown Prince, CO. Praise be his name. Praise be our empire. Logavos. Yeah, I, I know I'm mispronouncing it, but screw it. Who cares? They're the, they're the bad guys, kind of. Yes. The Emperor, yes, Tyrannus. Definitely needs to be praised, too. Because he's quite tyrannical. You don't praise them, it's off with your head. Yes, long live his Imperial Highness. You know, until we kick his butt. Which doesn't kill him. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I expect to see you at this ceremony, Commander Ehrman. Desmond. Well, you must forgive me. You're no longer a commander, are you? What was it you do now? Oh, yes. You're some sort of an official on one of those remote resource planets, aren't you? As for me, I now serve as Deputy Viceroy, but it's such demanding work, what with the sheer size of the small jug cloud and all. <laughs> took ten years. At last, the small jug cloud is completely under our control. It took you guys 10 years to snuff out all resistance in the small jug cloud. With your guys' forces and sheer size. I'm calling incompetence on that one. <laughs> now watch as I succeed where you failed. The complete conquest of the large one jug cloud. <laughs> Might want to stop taunting him before he kills you. You're not very important, Desmond. I'm sorry. Besides, it's Ermin I want. Ah, yes. The the center of the Galactic Federation, ruler of two-thirds of the Large Ninja Cloud. I'm not sure what the other thirds align with. I know one's a sector full of religious fanatics. You want to see me, President Brian? Huh. Doesn't look a lot like a Brian. More like a Dave. I don't know why. Yes, I'm bored out of my skull. I want someone to talk to. You're bored, sir? Is that some kind of sick joke? No, no, this is not a joke. Thought that the presidency of such a large generation would be mostly symbolic. I mean, what am I supposed to do with all these bees besides play with them in my fingers? You know how expensive it is when I break these things? I mean, damn. These are really expensive beads. Ah, great purpose. Is that really what you think? Am I wrong? You overestimate my position. I have no great purpose or anything else of the sort. That's exactly the kind of man I seek. Someone special? That's right, the one who's going to plunge Larja Cloud into war. Yes, he's talking about Yuri, <laughs> who's currently in prison. Go us! <laughs> yep. 
the man. You gotta put that on the end there, because you know he's no longer the boy, it's the man. It's super important. And don't ask me why there's a bar in prison. There just is, okay? So we can have a bar fight. The very start of this. Finally met your match. Grrr. Look at my dragon tattoo. I'm unrivaled. I have the power of a dragon. Unbalanced. Allowing this moment to land a tremendous body blow. Why, you... This ain't over yet. I've already beat you 83 out of 112 bouts. Odds are way in my favor. You don't say. I guess this makes it my 30th win. Uh, okay. You win. Today. <laughs> that face, man. Yes, a winner. You're the real deal now. He made me a bundle too. I had it all right, Nanya. Even the vodka. You're gonna pay for this. Am I? Well, try and make me. Well, you did, did you? Give me a shot of gin. You got it. Why are you even listening to me? It's like really rude to ignore a toll of bay when she congratulates you like that, you know? Sorry, I'm into my sister, not other women. Anyway, your reward's weighing over in my cell. Stop by when you're ready. A reward from you? I will request for yours while I came through for you. You really? Hmm. It's like a harsh godly voice rings out from the tavern's entrance. Hey, how are you no good slime's gonna carry on like this? It's Warden Glacus. This party's over. And yes, he's related to the war and over in the um, small little cloud that we are responsible for taking down. It's a small universe, ain't it? <laughs> Forget your prisoners or something? Low life, criminals, nothing but a pack of vermin. I don't even know why we gave you guys a bar. It's kind of weird. Oh, hazardous, huh? Better remember where you are. I'm going to give you a reminder you won't forget. You will, huh? You came in here all by yourself to do that? What, you got slave collars on us or something? Because otherwise, this seems kind of stupid. If it ends up cutting into your workload tomorrow, there's going to be gruss to pay for. Or my name ain't Deimos Glacus. Deimos? Well, it's official. The guy's a demon. Because he's obviously, you know, a bureaucrat. Bum, bum, bum. Well... Slowly walks toward the back of the tavern, looking down at the prisoners on either side of him. He stops when he reaches Yuri. <laughs> I was hoping the Dunga had thrashed you to an inch of your life. Well, he's no longer top guy around here. I am. Makes me sick just seeing your face. Call that a punch? I've had butterflies hit me harder. Let me fill you in on what you have in store. You're gonna pay for my brother's simulation back in the small jug cloud. However, it's above to keep an extra close eye on you. It's gonna be a painful death as we carve reminders into every last inch of your body. <laughs> don't worry, I'll make sure to rip your head off later. We don't really do that, but I'd like to. Covered in plasma storms and laced with fierce bolts of lightning. Well, time to start making our choices. Well, guess we can go to the tavern again. We gotta visit basically everywhere. It's bloody annoying. Well, I would hope so. Prison life's hard on you, man. Maybe. But I doubt it. Hmm. If it weren't for him, we'd... Sick of that East Wing scum always looking down on us. He can count the Dunga these days. So we take matters into our own hands. Yeah. Idiots. They think they can take me on? Yep, there's a freaking mine here. Incarceration. The intense magnetic fields generated by the Jesuit ore prevent the use of advanced mining equipment. All that must be performed through the blood and sweat of the prison inmates. Well, that just sucks. Hmm. 
And seriously, my are 24 hours a day, even when they go to the bathroom because the guards are perverts and like to watch people pee and poop. <laughs> yeah, probably best not to think about it. Ugh. Lock where the inmates are housed. Yep, deathly quiet, huh? Well, guess we'll go to the West Prison Ring just to, you know, pay a visit. More like was, because now he's are you know what. For the, the remaining duration of our stay, which won't be much longer, because let's face it, you can't expect us to stay in prison. I mean, where else are we going to have to go besides, you know, start a war? Yep, Yuri's top dog. Deep in their own thoughts. Well, looks like everyone's back now. Well, we need to go visit other people's cells first. Let's go visit Franny, since she told us, you know, we ha she had something for us. Yep, water. I got off that conversation we were having earlier. <sighs> Mr. No Nonsense Yuri. A girl's got needs too, you know. I can't scratch the itch. Like I said, I'm into, your, I'm into my sister. So, go bug someone else. You're gonna be like that. Might as well just get down to business. Hold on a sec. Uh, uh, Shellac survey device for mining wart that's been mined for use as a mobile terminal. Feast your eyes on this. Look familiar? That's a blueprint of the control building. Bingo, it's all thanks to the nano spy mole I sent down the surveillance camera cable six months ago. Damn. This is a escape plan long in the making. We've been working on it for over six months. Aren't I something? Go on, say it. Oh, come on, Yuri. Throw me a bone here. Oh, yeah, right. Tell earned your reputation, Frank. You're doing a great job. Don't I know it? Well, I don't know if there's too much left we can do, but hey. Slow down there, buddy. I mean, I just, like, finished hacking into that host here this morning. Give me just three days, and I'll have the system totally naked and exposed from the control building security system right down to every last password. I guarantee it. Yes, sir. Yeah, almost. Well, let's go bug, you know, our good old friend, Simus. It, I am, huh? Oh, rather interesting, in fact. It's just been reassigned to the mine, you see. Care to meet him? Sure. Bring him over to my cell tomorrow night. Mm, yeah, let's get to it. Ah, yes. I see a pole in the image. I don't know where the other pole came from, but fine, whatever. This will give us a combat upgrade, so I'll take it. How breath, huh? Thanks to you. I really appreciate it. Oh, don't mention it. I just want to make sure that you're ready when it's time to resume your journey across the Sea of Stars. Besides, it's what Lei and Nia would have wanted. Yeah, we still gotta get revenge on her killer, damn it. Well, let's go visit Jen. That way we can get Fleet Commander level 4, darn it. That way I can control four ships! No, he's not alright. He's dying. Dude's old, been in prison for the last, you know, like, what, ten years? It's hard on a body, man. Okay. On the effects of battle formation when commanding a fleet. This will be my final lesson as far as tactics are concerned, so please pay close attention. Hmm. And that's about it. Trust you understand the effects of battle formations now? Yes, Master Jen. Yes, sorry. Very well, then. Yep, four ships. That's what we always wanted. Yep. No, Master Jen, I'm the one who should feel fortunate to have met you. This was the last place I would have expected to meet the great tactician. Hmm. Yeah, so when I first learned of Lucas and its threat, I tried in vain to warn the nations of the large Majella cloud. Being out imprisoned here was more, certainly not part of my plan. That's now a prime example of the old saying, no good deed goes unpunished. Do so you think the Galactic Factoration is trying to cover up the existence of the Lugavian Empire? Precisely. Seems they'll spare no means to keep its people from learning what happened in the small jug cloud. And I have no doubt they'll continue to silence all who know the truth just as they have done to us. 
Hmm, does not deal with Legavius' threat. The Empire will reach the larger than I caught someday. It's not a matter of if, but when. You must escape this place and find a way to oppose them, if only to avert the tragedy that befell the small jet cloud. I'll do my best, Master Jen. I'll be a freaking workhorse for everyone around here to, you know, set up for a war. It's gonna suck. Oh, I'm sure they will. Well, might as well head to our own cell. Yep, lights out. Well, now. Well, guess we're locked in now. But as he lies in bed staring at the tingy ceiling of his cell, his eyes are clear and full of purpose. Not the eyes of a beaten man. Slowly, almost gently, he turns out the lights. Well, now. Back to work, alright. Hope you're hungry. Thank you, Fran. My stomach thinks you too. Once they hear the lunch siren in conjunction with Fran Porpolo's voice. Super hard <laughs> FRPT to encounter the strong jack so that she doesn't or proceed to eat their lunches for every each person can find a suitable spot. Yep. Sound of thunder rumbles in the distance. Yep, definitely safe to be working out with metal tools, you know, during a storm, right? Hmm, about the data, huh? Hello, deeper and final record of shuttle and escort landing dates here on Lari. Pass them along to Alec for me? Why Alec? So I think it might be a clue to breaking through the plasma storms. Sure, you can count on me. I'll get the data ready. It shouldn't take long. Get what ready, pretty lady? Yikes. Warden Glacus. <laughs> Yuri, you've been up to something lately. I don't know what, but whatever it is, it stinks. Even more than I do. And I smell like shit. Don't you go doing anything stupid now. I mean, we've been drilling it into your criminal minds plenty, haven't we? Then plasma storms are whipped up by the solar winds hitting Lara's atmosphere. They're way too strong for any shit to break through, so don't even think of it. <laughs> uh, at the ground while glaring at Warden's back. That jerk really knows how to push my buttons. And not the good buttons, either. Hmm. But are we? <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll find a way. We are Yuri the Man, after all. We have one of the greatest brains in the universe at our disposal. Alex. Well, probably should go grab that data. Here's our ass to work as well, that's way. How's the data analysis going? Pretty much hacked that security system. If we can get our hands on some weapons, we should be able to take the control building, even with our small numbers. I always thought security was kind of lax around here, but this time we're really going to catch them with their pants down. I guess that proves how much they're depending on those plasma storms to keep us here. And there's no escaping as long as the atmosphere keeps on raging up there. True, but... How about weapons? What's the plan? Or at the jackpot, Yuri. Found they keep all the confiscated weapons in the control building storeroom. Storm there first, and we've got ourselves some major firepower. Should have the security system totally hacked tonight, so getting at those weapons should be a cinch. Good, that means I can get my freaking sword back. That way I can cut Glacus' head off. Yeah, I know we're not going to get to actually do that, but I can't stop thinking about doing it, damn it. I want to behead him. Like I'm a Highlander. <laughs> Even though we probably look a little bit more like the Kurgan with all that muscle mass. Well, let's talk to this guy again. Yep, Thomas Vale. Yep, Vale. Hmm. Sounds like a nice spy name. I'm new to this place, but I've already heard a lot about you, Yuri. It's good to meet you. You're new here, huh? Wish I could enjoy your stay. First off the boat about a month ago. Afraid my stay is looking to be a long one. <laughs> Seen you around the mines before, but I never got a chance to introduce myself. Yuri Thomas saw something rather interesting the day he was transferred here. Well, yeah, what's that? 
Hmm. Well, it was like this. The prison ship that brought me here got a little lost along the way. We were around for a while, and so we ended up at what looked like some kind of hangar. It was huge. It was... Was. Now, here's what's interesting. Can you guess what I saw there? Come on, Thomas. You know time for games. Unless they're head games. <laughs> yep, battleships. Yeah, it was like they were really old or something, you know? All dusty and gingy. Looked to me like they'd been mothballed. Oh, and the ship's names were Tablaze and... What? They're letting my baby rot in a freaking... Pr in a freaking bay? A hangar bay? That's bullshit. It's one of the most powerful ships in existence, and you're calling it dingy? I'll beat you for that. Hmm. Think any of that info is going to prove useful? Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Well, I could help. Anyway, remember the name's Thomas Fail. See you around, Yuri. Hmm. Let me make it Thomas's little story, Yuri. Sounds a little too neat and tidy to me. My thoughts exactly. So I think we should play along and see what happens. Me too. There's some sort of chance ha change happening out there in the larger duck cloud. Feeling I'll be diving headfirst into whatever it is. Look, come what may, you can count on me sticking by your side, Yuri. Hmm. I guess we should go bug um Jen now. Different, huh? Some sort of calculations. Okay. He's trying to work out the pattern for the storms. He's busy analyzing the data we received from Franny. And the dates for ship landings and departures? Precisely. Those are the dates when the plasma storms subsided. Maybe very will correlate with the asteroid belt, asteroid's orbit, and the distance from its two suns. We can only get the formula right. We know when we can escape? Yes, or at least in theory. Hmm. Good thing he's the brains outfit, because I definitely couldn't do these on pen and paper. Well, now. I suppose I'll do for this episode. No, not nothing too much. Ex not a lot of excitement happened, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So next time, then. See ya.